Hey everyone, today we're on Fort Seal, which is in Lawton, Oklahoma, and we're exploring another cemetery that's located on this particular army base. And this is the Chihuahua Cemetery. This is Chief Chihuahua right here, 1822 to 1901. And it says the Chiracua Apache. Chihuahua was the chief of the Chiricahua Apaches. On May 18, 1883, after the Chiricahua Apaches had fought a long-running battle deep into Mexico, Chihuahua met with General Crook for peace talks. He informed Crook that the Chiricahua were willing to surrender and return to the reservation. Over the next few weeks, all of the chiefs gave themselves up. Geronimo, Chato, Bonita, Loco, except Ja who fled deeper into Mexico with a handful of Apaches. In May of 1885, a large group of Chiricahua renegades once again fled the reservation and went on a rampage into Mexico. The pursuing United States Army Detachment, led by Captain Emmett Crawford, attacked the renegades' main group about 60 miles south of Nacori, Mexico. The battle did not kill very many of them, but it did capture an entire stock, camp equipment, food, and supplies. Chihuahua, Natchez, and Geronimo were so demoralized that they once again asked for peace talk. Before Crawford could commence the negotiations, the army troops were attacked by a band of Mexican troops, resulting in the death of Crawford and the Mexican commander with 15 of his men. Chihuahua and his men were camped on a hill across from the valley and were interested spectators. After this battle was over, the Mexicans withdrew and the Apaches met with Lieutenant Marion P. Moss, now in command. They agreed once again to meet with General Crook and return to the reservation. Most of them did return and agreed that they would be sent to a camp in Florida for two years and then returned to Arizona. Geronimo, however, met with some of the white men selling whiskey on his way back to the reservation and went back on the warpath. On April 7, 1886, Chihuahua and all the other Chiricahua on the reservation, including Geronimo's wives and family, were shipped to Fort Marion, Florida. With a promise to be reunited with his family, Geronimo surrendered, and on September 8, 1886, he was sent to Florida. In May of 1888, the Apaches were transferred to Mount Vernon in Alabama. In October of 1893, they were transferred to Fort Seal, Oklahoma, where they were to remain until they died. They still had hope that they would be returned to their land of Arizona, though. But here they remain, buried, as a prisoner of war in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. And then through here, you can see that this is uh, Emily T., the Apache daughter of Chief Chihuahua. So several of his uh, descendants here, and this is the husband of Emily Chihuahua right there and another daughter of Chief Chihuahua Mabel Chihuahua May 17, 1895 this cemetery is just kind of tucked in down a road that you got to drive further down from that main cemetery where Geronimo was and there are not very many final resting places in here, but I thought we would walk around and just show them. This is Tennyson Chihuahua and the son of G Eugene Chihuahua and Viola Zaya. September 25th, 1901. Osceola Chihuahua, Apache son of Chief Chihuahua, and Ilf Goze. Tom Chihuahua, Apache son of Chief Chihuahua, 1885 to 1896, so really pretty young, as with Osceola here, just seven or eight years old. Here you can see this creek down through here, and like maybe they were gonna start doing the retaining wall right here and then didn't you can see the creek runs along through here on this side of the cemetery but it also 
goes along down through here as well. So it just sort of surrounds the cemetery. This is Fanny Chihuahua, daughter of Eugene Chihuahua. All these are from the turn of the century, early 1900s. This is just one year old, six years old right there. Rose Chihuahua, Esther Chihuahua, just four years old, could be three years old, and maybe not yet four. Another Apache daughter of Chief Chihuahua. Raymond Chihuahua, son of Eugene Chihuahua. 1905 to 1906. Wally Osani, Apache son of Olsani and Nan Ishkala. April 28, 1903. And there is uh, Olsani, Apache brother of Chief Chihuahua. 1821 to 1909. And there is Nan Ishkla, Apache wife of Ol Sani, November 1st, 1907. And here is Nasisa, Apache wife of Ol Sani, September 9th, 1901. And this is Adam Osani, Apache son of Olsani and Nazi. Eh. September 3rd, 1898. And William Osani. Not very old there, 13 years old. 1887 to 1900. Clarence Osani. And that is 1893 to 1911. Nago Sise, Apache wife of Chino, mother of Viola Zaya, 1850 to 1908. And then here is Chino Apache, 1823 to 1907. And you can see where people have placed coins on these memorial markers as well. Uh, most commonly, quarters and dimes is what I've seen so far. You can see these are uh, pecan trees that are in through here. Lots of pecans all over the ground. And that is a good sized pecan tree right there. And there's just five markers left in this cemetery. And we have seen every one of them that is in this cemetery. It's not a very big one here. This is Blanche Doc Lugi. Apache daughter of Asa Daklugi and Ramoni Chihuahua, Chihuahua, 1906 to 1908. Thomas Pelkoy, Apache son of Olsani and Nan Ishkla, 1875 to 1895. So just 20 years old right there. Three left. It does make you wonder with the space in between, not only in this cemetery, but the last one we were in. If there is anybody in between that is not marked and has maybe been forgotten over time, hopefully not, but Martha Kane Sewa, Apache daughter of Kane Sewa, September 1st, 1896. And this is Leonard Kane Sewa, Jr., Apache son of Kane Sewa, September 1st, 1901. It's interesting that this was September 1st. And that is September 1st, 1896 and 1901, but same exact month and day. Mrs. Leonard Kanesewa, Apache wife of Kanesewa, 1870 to 1905. And that is the whole cemetery of the Chihuahua Cemetery, just down this gravel road on Fort Seal. So this is going to conclude our little visit to the Chihuahua Cemetery with Chief Chihuahua. 
One interesting thing that Sarah and I found is that we didn't see his wife. There was no wife at all from Chief Chihuahua. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.